Podcast. What's up, good people? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my home studio, and hey, welcome to my demo of this fine device right here. It's a Tech 21 fly rig, the signature PL1 model fly rig, Paul Landers signature. Now, Paul Landers is the guitar player from legendary industrial German metal band Rammstein, known for their crazy stage shows and awesome music. Uh, so, Paul uh, has been a longtime user, evidently, of the Tech 21 products like the GT2, the PSA, different Sans Amp models. Uh, but when they talked about making a signature one, he wanted a certain feature set. So I'm going to read right off uh, their website here. Paul says, with the PL1, I have everything I need in my pocket. Home, hotel, rehearsal, studio, concert. I just plug my guitar in and here we go. Although it is so tiny, I can dial in all the sounds I need for my band. You won't believe the flexibility of this small thing. I love the fact that I have an analog path and that it's not a digital animation. It is real. And what I love the most is I can plug it straight into the mixer or the computer. No amp needed for the best distortion sound I know of. So that's Mr. Paul Lander speaking. So, on the track at the beginning of the video, I use this thing in a couple different ways. Number one, yes, you can plug it in direct. Go right into your recording interface or say right to the PA if you wanted to. It's got a quarter inch unbalanced out. That's buffered, by the way. Uh, it's also got an XLR balanced output. So yeah, you could run right into the recorder, right into the PA if you want. And that was the majority of the guitar tracks that I cut on the song at the beginning of the video with this thing running DI right into my UA Apollo interface. But another thing you could do with this is take an output and go either into the front end of an amp and use this kind of like an effect pedal in front of an amplifier, or you could run into the effects loop of an amplifier and just use the power amp section of an amp and this would become your preamp. Uh, I've never tried that before with one of these, so I wanted to try it on this demo. So I did that on a couple of the guitar tracks uh, on the song at the beginning of the video. It was my uh, PT100 amp. I was running right into the effects return out of the quarter inch uh, output and I just used the amp as a, as a power amp. So I'm gonna show you what those tracks sound like soloed outside of the mix of that song uh, here in a few minutes. And then you're also gonna hear some of the DI tracks soloed, of course, you can hear those two different sounds and hear all the different ways you can use this thing. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do with it is running uh, some loops through it, uh, play some guitar loops, and that'll leave my hands free to turn the knobs and push the buttons and stuff so I can really tweak and stuff. And you can hear what the clean sounds sound like and the dirty sounds and some of the effects and all that good stuff. You've basically got a clean channel and a dirty channel in this unit, okay? On the clean channel, you get a simple volume control, two band EQ, highs and lows, and a compression amount control. So it's got built-in compression that you can add to your heart's content. Just a little bit sounds really cool or you can pile it on and really get some heavily compressed tones if you want to. Okay, there's a bright switch as well for the clean channel uh, in case you want to get some real bright sparkly sounds. Okay, uh, moving on over to the distortion side. If what you got over there is a drive control and a level control. So drive being kind of like, you know, preamp gain or distortion and then an overall master volume. And then you got a three band EQ here, okay? So it's lows, mids and highs. Uh, and you've also got a mid shift button here and that's going to allow you to kind of change the frequency that the mid range control works at for some different tones. Uh, then over here you got a boost section, okay? So you can turn this on and this, this one knob boost becomes active right here, but there's a switch called punch. When you put that switch in, it adds a lot of mids and makes for a really nice kind of thicker liquidy kind of solo tone. Uh, okay, and then moving over uh, to the effects section here, you got a delay built in, okay? And with a tap tempo. And uh, basically the controls for the delay are time, repeats, and uh, level. Okay, but you can also just tap in the time on, the, on that tap tempo. Uh, and then you got an ambience control here. Ambience is reverb. And you got uh, kind of basically a, a reverb amount and then two settings, okay? So that's gonna be uh, this switch right here that's labeled size. You can get either kind of a smaller reverb, sounds like maybe like a, maybe with a 0.7 seconds or one second tail, or you can get a slightly longer reverb, maybe out to 1.5 or something. I'm not, I'm, I'm making that up, but that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, just just kind of smaller reverb or slightly bigger reverb, and that's controllable via that, via that size switch. Okay, last but not least here, you got a vibrato uh, switch here. So that turns the delay into a vibrato, which can sound really cool. I used that on some of the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. So we'll show you what that sounds like in a minute here. Couple final things, you got a switch here with a little pair of headphones drawn above it. That's like a headphone amp. Kick that on, now the quarter inch output gets a lot louder, it kicks in a little headphone amp. You also got an XLR uh, switch right here, turn that on, it's gonna turn on the XLR out. And then one last final and super cool thing that really makes this thing uh, usable without any other gear, there's a tuner built in. So you just hold down the tap tempo switch uh, for a second, that bypasses the unit and turns on a chromatic tuner, so you don't even need an external tuner with this thing. Okay, let's get to some sound examples. It is the PL1 Paul Landers Signature Fly Rig from Tech 21. Here we go.
All right, good people, there you have it. It is the Paul Landers PL1 signature fly rig from the good folks at Tech 21. It's got a clean channel with compression. It's got an overdrive channel with heavily adjustable EQ. It's got a boost built in. It's got vibrato, it's got delay, it's got a tuner built in. It's industrial metal in a box. What more could you want? You can check it out further at that website you see there on your screen. And hey, I'm Pete Thorne. Please come back and see me for more videos real soon. Take care.